Good morning from International Cafe. Well, we've come up to Crooners to grab a table and just chillax. Look how happy my breakfast looks. <laughs> oh, they are having a baby race in the piazza. That's right. I guess there's babies on here somewhere. Oh, I found a duck outside the theater. You cute. I like how the tag looks like a little life jacket. We are hanging out and waiting for the Aloha Oi Hawaiian Farewell featuring the Hula class students and the Ukulele class students. Ah, the doors are open. Welcome to the Princess State, everybody, for our very special Aloha Oi Farewell show. Uh, this is a presentation uh, for your fellow passengers and presented by Leilo Han myself. It is my pleasure to introduce to you to a wonderful group of people who have been spending every sea day with me. Where are Would you please put your hands together and welcome to the stage the ukulele masters of the Emerald Princess! Tiny bubble in the wild. Awesome job, ukulele player. So now we will join forces uh, for our next few songs. Oh, we're going to a Bukina. Welcome to afternoon tea. We're loading up trays of goodies back there. Ooh, he got a cucumber sandwich and a brie sandwich. You got the last cucumber, I must Sorry. say. Mm. <laughs> There's tomatoes on it. You don't like it. Uh, I got the last tuna sandwich on his tray and a little mortadella. And we've got our tea with milk. Oh man. What's that one? Eat that. Oh man, they've tempted us with carrot cake, lemon cake, chocolate cake, cakey cake. And we've got our scones with the jam and the cream. And now one thing that I learned is somebody said that on a fruit scone, you don't normally do the jam. But you know I'm a jam man, so I'm gonna put that jam, I'm jamming that jam on there. And I am still team jam first, cream on top. So I will fix these and enjoy them. <laughs> well that was a lovely late lunch. Come back to the cabin for a little bit of balcony basking. The seas aren't too bad. The ship's been a little bit sort of vibratory back and forth over the last couple of days. A little, little wiggly, a little wobbly. Oh gosh, you can hear the wind whistling through the door. Well, we've just had tea time, so we're not really feeling very dinnerish. Let's check out some loyalty snacks. What do we got? Crudite, look at that artwork. They made a little fish just for Mermaid D. Fruits, breads, ah oh, yeah. <gasps> Stilton, they have, oh, look at it. And there's even refills back there. Oh, I'm in blue cheese heaven, okay. There's hazelnut chocolate mousse down here with the fruit, all sorts of candied fruit. Another watermelon creation. <gasps> Roasted chicken wings with sweet chili sauce. Wings, olives, crudite, and some watermelon and all on D's side of the table. <gasps> here I can see your future. My crystal ball. I got some fruit, a couple of bowls of Stilton, a couple of wings. They've started some delicate keyboard tunes. This is downright cozy up here. It's a whole different uh, atmosphere than when we were up here dancing last night. Oh, Stilton. Those were some delicious balls of blue. Keep hearing banging and rumblings. That's right. Directly above this lounge is the jogging track and the Princess Lynx. That's 
Let's head downstairs. That's oh, like there's another Leo Rossi presentation in here. Through the glass into the dark studio. Picture in your head a private 727 with cabins and chairs. And it was ours to use, and we flew the East Coast, the West Coast. We even took it across the pond and flew and did all of Europe with it. So thank you all for coming, and we'll see you around the ship. Coming up next, we have got the Hollywood Hiccups Game Show. Well, we won't end up with the bestest of views, but we will enjoy the show. Oh, they broke the screen. There it is. Oh, it froze. There it almost was. Hollywood Hiccups. We're having hiccups with the Hollywood Hiccups. There, it looks like it's working again. Woohoo! Do we have any movie fans here? We are about to ruin all of your favorites. <laughs> and what the bathroom? <laughs> it's busy. the wrong movie. Oh, just next. A nice little tree, all decorated. When look, oh, I'm gonna blow and blow and blow it over. <laughs> I win. That's the weirdest mashup ever. Oh my gosh, we just heard from Home Alone, Grinch, Ghostbusters. What is going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. No! <laughs> oh no! It's the wrong scene again. We're supposed to be on Baywatch now. Oh no, there's a Jaws in Lion King. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, it's supposed to be the Lion King. I don't think Tuna is. Oh no! I think Tuna is fired. There it is. The Jaws Jurassic Park Lion King hybrid. <laughs> Club Fusion time! Well, it looks like the Hawaiian ambassadors are wrapping up, but we're getting ready to have karaoke going into karaoke wars later on. Now, karaoke, we know what that is, but this is the intriguing event tonight. So it starts at 10.30, which is about an hour from now.
split the room in half from uh, this side is obviously one side and that side is one side. Then we're going to go back and forth for a series of group sing-along songs. What's going on? I don't on? know what the first song is going to be. What are you doing? Team has elected to play. No, it's okay. No, I got it. As long as it's not right, this your line. It's never going to oh, give you up. Oh, no, up. we got Rick Rose. Oh, oh, good. We get some lyrical help. Hey! Oh. No, it's Sweet Caroline. I forfeit. I give up. Competition has moved out to the stage, the dance floor. Oh wow, the flashlight though. Air guitar solo. Oh yeah. It's a left-handed air guitar. It's okay. Woo! Oh, we're having a moment out here. Gosh, conga lines have broken out across the club fusion. Somebody call security. Somebody send help. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, game. Karaoke wars. And that was the point of oh, wars yeah. that we must come together and be peaceful together and love each other. Can I get an amen? Baja. We have come back to the room to find our patter as well as some disembarkation information, some luggage tags, and we are changing time. For the last time, this cruise. Whoo, back to California time. Good night. Good night. We are in the cabin. It is it love is boat time. It's mm. new 12:30. Holy yeah. moly! Yeah, we got to jump that hour. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Any words about your day? We don't really have a lot of food to talk about because we obviously went from tea time to loyalty snacks to uh, hamburgers delivered in the Club Fusion. We just did like weird snacky kind of meals. Yeah, but yeah. it was enough. It was good though, yeah. Um, no, really enjoyed the Hollywood hiccups. Oh, yeah. It was different from what we've seen before. I really liked uh, Fortuna Luck hosting mm -hmm. it. She is adorable, whoever they have Nick. in that part Nick. <laughs> on this calling. particular ship. She's very good. Mm. Um, like the movies because it was some different ones that we hadn't mm -hmm. seen before. Then we went over there uh, to karaoke, adult mm -hmm. karaoke, and then into karaoke wars, which was wars. different than what I pictured. I thought it was going to be no like idea. picking like five or six different singers and like playing a random song, like almost Seeing like kamikaze karaoke. Oh, fun! But this was fun too, but yeah. just different than what I was picturing. Nice big group event. But when it got really like touchy, conga lining, yeah, all that stuff, like, we're mm -hmm. like, mm, you heard, y'all heard that gastrointestinal illness yeah. announcement. I was like, all I'm right. just going to dance next to people. <laughs> we're going to stay away and not touch anybody. Try and be safe, y'all. Anyway, um, really good day overall. Enjoy. Yeah. Now it's bedtime. We'll see you tomorrow. I oh, know. Last One more see you day tomorrow, y'all. Yeah. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the buffet. Breakfast mode is in full force. All right, they are doing assisted service. Confirm there is D's plate of goodies. And a strange assortment of sort of an egg dish there, some spicy pork, some fruit, a French toast, and this is also an egg dish. It looks like it might be potatoes and eggs, but I don't know. Got a little bit of wave action in the pool this morning. Guess they're watching a movie out here or something. <laughs> welcome back to the fitness center. Oh, and welcome to Treadmill Town. Okay. That's right, washy washy. All right, we're ready for side-by-side -side excitement. Here's our view. I can even watch the bridge cam on the little TV, though that seems kind of redundant. Ah, love boat. There we go. Oh, 30 minutes, almost a mile and a half. D is still cranking over here. Cooling down. <laughs> ah, cool down. Well, we've come down to Crooners to hang out for a little bit. They're having some kind of an event called like Beat the Cruise Staff down on the piazza we can over here. Ooh, it's getting lively down there now. Dee went up to the bar and walked all the way back to this table carrying these precarious <laughs> drinks. Well, props to them because it is very dangerous. They do it with a whole tray usually, so. Precarious carrying. <laughs> And now it is dinner time. Let's head to Michelangelo. We did not technically have lunch, so we are hungry.
dinner is done and now there's magic to do. So we are here for showtime and if this works the way it did on Crown Princess, we won't be able to show this to you because it is a heavily copyrighted production show. So we will enjoy. Uh, the band is getting set up there so we got some live music for this production. We've come to Explorers for a comedy show, but there's about negative 20 seats in there, so I think we will move on. Well, let's come where it's a little less peopley back here. Oh, I hear the Hawaiian ambassadors doing some tunes back here. Oh, yeah. On the beach and Waikiki. going on break so I think we will take a wander. Yeah, comedy show. Well we have settled in here at Crooners and it looks like the tunes are getting ready to begin. Uh, Got a family feud style game happening in the Explorer's Lounge. We have come back to the cabin and found our patter for tomorrow and Sonata. Also a note that you can earn some onboard credit as a percentage back if you shop at the approved stores in Ensenada. And fresh undies. Good, Good night. night! So what the heck have we been up to today? You saw most of it, obviously. Yeah. We listened to some random music, which is always very good. All the musicians on here have been really really good i've been mm. impressed um to the show yeah which they were there were not i should say uh <laughs> announcements about not recording it but i know last time they were like mm -mm. So yeah i didn't other than the vowels yeah so magic to do which is like heavily stephen schwartz involved with a lot yeah. of his musicals and things that he's written still don't understand the storyline at all but it's a good show <laughs> lots of magic tricks the cast on here is really really good very phenomenal yeah um i enjoy it I feel like I enjoyed it more this time than when yeah. we saw it on Crown, because this is only the second time we've seen it. But they're yeah. doing some semi-legit looking magic tricks they while are. singing and dancing. So you yeah. know what? That's impressed. impressive. Story or no story? <laughs> Speaking of story, is it dinner story time? Yeah, I think okay. so, actually. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's start off with your first appetizer. Oh, gosh, what was this even called? It was I like salted know. cured salmon seafood with like chili sauce. Did that fit on the menu? It's something like that. But it was amazing. So it was on a slice of cucumber and it had like a little breadstick. And the chili sauce was kind of like what you would dip an egg roll in. You know, oh, like yeah. traditional Chinese restaurants. It was so good. I wanted like two of them because we didn't eat lunch. I was starving. <laughs> I was a little experimental today. I got the marinated tofu, which was marinated in ponzu. Now the tofu, as is to be expected, had very little flavor. That's how tofu does. The ponzu in the bottom was delicious. The tofu was not really soaked in it very well. Like it soaked into the bottom, but I could have used it to be soaked on like every quadrant, but it was all right. Would I get it again? Nah. I gave you edam or yeah, edamame beans. Oh, you did, wasabi peas. Wasabi peas. Yes, peas. you did. Just to help out. <laughs> there is your salad. Uh, romaine Caesar salad. Not much to say about it. Romaine lettuce, Parmesan cheese, Caesar dressing. Nice. Wheat croutons. Because fun fact. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Jay's told you. I don't this. think we've gotten so, into it. Our ship apparently at like two days ago ran out of white flour. So everything that they have to make from scratch is made yeah. with brown flour or wheat flour. Pizza crust. I think the fact that we bread. have like so many teenagers on here may have something to do with that and all the pizza that's been consumed. <sighs> Um, so the wheat croutons I thought were great, but a lot of people are not enjoying all the wheat. No, items. there's been a lot of complaints about why are we out of white flour? Uh, it's weird, yeah. but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it worked. Um, speaking of wheat, I, in my French onion soup, I had wheat bread in there too. Yeah. It was great. I really enjoyed the French onion soup. Gruyere, nice and cheese pulley. Mm -mm. 
Can't say too many good words about it. Oh, but I had a, that's right. I kind of ordered double entrees, but I requested the pasta to be done as sort of another appetizer. So there is the ravioli. Now I let you taste this because I was good. like, hmm, there were exactly two ravioli in this appetizer portion. <laughs> but I think it was, mas no, uh, ricotta, ricotta on the inside, I believe, not mascarpone. Y'all, the flavors on this were stinking delicious. Lemon scented, uh -huh. said it definitely had a it lot did. of lemon essence. <laughs> it was lemon potent, but it I didn't mind it a bit. Yeah. All right. Entrees. Oh boy. Sad starting with story. starting with you. Here is your duck with buckwheat noodles. It's like duck five spice with They're buckwheat so noodles. Mm -hmm. Soba noodles. I've had this before and really, really enjoyed it. I ordered it again. I literally took two or three yeah. bites. The duck was kind of livery, which I know can be a thing if they don't like get all the blood out That's of what the, somebody told us in a previous video. Uh. But the noodles, I don't know if they made them with the brown flour. flour. <laughs> And just something about it did not jive well. Mm. I just did not like this. What I ordered again, maybe to try it on a different ship to see if it was just a fluke, because I've had it. And, and you good. liked it. This was awful. Yeah, this was, I tried it and I, oh. the noodles, they were just gross. I don't know. I, I feel like it has something to do with flour, but aren't soba noodles always buckwheat, buckwheat and I dark? Thought. They were gross. I didn't just did not. Yeah. Them. And I'm know. not picky. <laughs> no. Now, here's another story. I ordered the beef wellington, but I got this short rib instead. I think they just wrote beef and brought me the wrong one. Yeah. It was all right. Um, it's done up in barbecue sauce, which I'm not used to like a nice pull of brisket being done up in like sweet barbecue sauce, but it goes well together. I mean, you know, but it was a little bit tough, a little fatty. Hmm. Yeah. I wish I had my wellington. He asked if he could bring it and I said, no, I didn't want to. Take a bit more of their time. Yeah. Plus, we were trying to make the show. <laughs> exactly. Hey, y'all, dessert. Let's redeem Much ourselves. Much happier story. Chocolate pistachio dome. This is great. Like a um, chocolate mousse mm. with like a pistachio layer and like a little piece of cake underneath. Delicious. Not too sweet, not too potent or anything like that. Really loved it. And I paired it with vanilla ice cream because I was extra hungry. <laughs> Still was. After you yeah. didn't eat your own time. Yeah. Uh, I had the Princess Love Boat Dream, which is the, I guess it's raspberry. It's the red version, shall we say. Also very moussey, but pretty good. You know, I kind of like the twist because it used to be all chocolate. Now they put the fruit in there and I kind of like it. And I got chocolate ice cream because why not? <laughs> know what I mean? That's it, y'all. Speaking of Love Boat Dreams, it's time to watch Love Boat and have dreams. This ship actually has a lot of episodes we've never seen before, so it's been really good. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. We talked a lot. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Oh. <laughs> Good morning from International Cafe. Breakfast mode. Ooh, deck five. We have not explored the forward area up here, which is an art gallery. And I think it's cabins after that. Aww. <sighs> Free the turtles. They're trapped. And the whales. That's also true. That's rude. Cute, though. Way up, up here past. Oh. What up, Mona? <laughs> there should be some elevators up here. Welcome to Deck 16. Oh, look at these cozy, comfortable chairs. Oh no, fitness <laughs> center. What the heck? This doesn't look cozy. <laughs> but it's good. Well, we could get some beautiful views of Ensenada from up here while we walk our little whatever. <laughs> Say walk our little hearts out. That sounds weird. <laughs> Quick start. Okay. Oh, belt is starting. Whoop. Maybe I'll just do two and a half today. We'll have a nice little stroll through Ensenada. <laughs> Yo, know, one good thing about coming up here on a port day, it is remarkably uncrowded. Look at all these treadmills, dance floor. Woohoo! I have no idea if we showed this gym already or not. I can't remember because, you know, we've been on this ship for two weeks. It's huge though. All right, 10 minutes in. Let's go ahead and kick it up to three miles an hour. Get some slightly faster strolls around Ensenada. 30 minutes done. Yo, I'm almost too tall for this gym. My head's about to hit the ceiling. So, <laughs> so my 30 minutes on zero incline. D has been on 10 incline the whole time. Well, She's I'm in cooling down. that cool down now. <laughs> Whew. Y'all, let's do some Ensenada looking. Now we did have some plans today for Ensenada. We had always heard, oh hey, get out, find some tours that'll go down to the Bufadora, which is the blowhole area. But we ended up booking a ship tour and the shore excursions department sent letters to everybody booked on any sort of tour with the Bufadora that there's a lot of construction 
a lot of traffic and that your tours might actually, it sounded like your tour could be shortened and they might, you know, you just wouldn't get as much time as you thought you were going to get at these places should you stay on the tour and they were offering full refunds. So we decided to take them up on the refund and we didn't really plan anything in the place of the tour that we had plotted. So this is our Ensenada. We'll just bask from the balcony. Oh yeah. I'm sure we could get off and wander some shops or something like that. Get a few steps in. Of course, we got our steps in this morning in the gym, didn't we? We've been here one time before. We were lucky enough to come during whale season. We walked right over there into town, grabbed a whale tour. So I'm sure there's lots of strolling and sights to see. But we'll have to see if we can get back to Ensenada. We've gone from aloha to hola today. Soon to be adios. It is time for lunch in Ensenada. We have gotten room service tacos. It's only appropriate, right? And some salads. Because we're packing. Wahoo! <laughs> Ma'am, can you give us some packing lessons? No. <laughs> Did you fit all your stuff in here? Now, granted, I did bring a big suitcase, but we each have one this size. Mm -hmm. And the, oh, actually, wait, I didn't bring my little one. That's right. I have yeah. a big one. You have that one. And then we each got our new backpacks. Making it work. Yeah. They're giant rectangular backpacks. Yeah. And they are in our Amazon shop, by the way. Paradigy.com <laughs> slash Amazon. Hashtag nice. ad. Whoop, whoop. Well, some time has passed now. It is almost back on board time. They're starting to take up the old water tents and shade tents down there. Back on board time has passed. I don't see any pier runners. Everybody's being responsible today. Y'all, people are out here cheering because I think they just loaded some white flour on the ship. You should have heard how happy people were when they saw that come out. Ooh. I'm telling y'all, it's been a regular flower gate on here, okay? Don't nobody want none of that weed flower. It doesn't bother me a bit, but. <laughs> That's funny. I knew the captain in his announcement said everybody had made it on the ship. I'm like, why are people cheering? There should be no pier runners. Mm. White flower, y'all. Now all these gluten gluttons can be happy. <laughs> well, we've just blown the horn a whole bunch and off we go. A little bit more Ensenada peaking. Yeah, that's what I noticed. A giant flag. Anyway, we are getting ready to head to dinner. Down to six. Hello, Botticelli! We just came up the steps from dinner and somebody has left a little duck there. Cute. Welcome to Explorer's Lounge. So I just had to tell you guys how amazing this drink is, but you can only get it in Explorer's Lounge. It's called Passion for the Orient, and it's literally my favorite drink on any cruise ship I've ever had. I get asked that question all the time. This is definitely it. If you like passion fruit or anything tropical, it's good, and it doesn't taste like alcohol, which can be dangerous. But try it, I implore you. It's only $10 currently. So first up in here is Fortuna Lux Games Through Time Trivia. We have got our paper and our moderately sharp pencil. We are good to go. Okay, let's get started with question numero uno, since we are in Mexico. Is it just one team that had 17? Oh, we have seven. Oh, tiebreaker, tiebreaker. And the game show this evening is called Read My Lips, which apparently is a lip sync competition. We've got some songs, and uh, we're going to try our very best to lip sync those songs to the best of our ability. But it's not just about the lip sync. It's about the dance. It's about the energy. It's about the performance. Good 
Hello, Club Fusion. Some tunes with the show band. Signups are taking place now. Croaky Loki time. We're back in the cabin, ready for love boat and sleep sleep. And packing. <laughs> what are we doing? For those of us who haven't. I have not started. Uh, so tonight we went to Fortuna Luck game kind of oh, trivia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Her trivias are cute. Super fun. She's my favorite Fortuna Luck that we've had. I know that's like a character they have on here, but she's just super adorable. I love her. Yeah. And then um, Read My Lips, which mm -hmm. is kind of like lip sync battle, which I haven't seen on any other princess ship. So that was really fun and entertaining. Yeah, more yeah. of a show. You know, yeah. it's, it's the crew that are lip syncing for you. And everybody, you know, we voted everybody a 10. Yes, yeah, so. everybody was good. It was a tie. <laughs> then we went to karaoke. I told Jay he had to sing two songs hey. by the end of the cruise. And he did. He sang two songs. Uh, so you guys have seen that footage. I now. even figured out how to set the camera up <laughs> on a railing so that we were, could record a little shack. I'm so proud. Oh my gosh. And now dinner. <clears throat> oh yeah, let's jump to it. Right, okay. Oh, let's start off with your beautiful green salad. It was a chickpea and carrot. This was really good. I mm. love, love, love the balsamic that they have on this ship. It is amazing. It was a lot, so I didn't use it all, but it it's like really tasty and adds a lot of flavor to the salad. Nice. I had the hummus. It was a macadamia nut hummus, in fact. Now, the macadamia nut hummus itself did not have a lot of flavor. Like, I'm mm. used to a hummus and it's nice and garlicky. This was very, very mild. I don't know if I'd get it again because it didn't really have a lot of flavor, but it was there and I enjoyed it. <laughs> You had a seafood thingamajig in a martini glass. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it was called, but it was shrimp and scallops, large shrimp and small shrimp, and Ooh. lettuce and like a parsley kind of thing. Okay. But it didn't have like cocktail sauce, but this was delicious and beautifully presented, cold and crisp. No, I don't know. Seafood crisp. Crisp <laughs> seafood. Yeah, the shells were still on the shrimp. <laughs> crunch, crunch. It was very good. <laughs> I had, um, this was actually the noodle entree as a main. It was stir fried vegetables and some sort of Asian noodles. I was just curious to try the noodles to see how they would be. They were actually okay. They felt kind of like wheat noodles, but they were like good wheat noodles. So overall, I approve of the flavor profiles. Everything was cooked well, tasted good. Yum yum. And it was vegetarian. Oh, nice. Hey, there's your surf and turf. That's not vegetarian. Yeah, so this was some kind of steak and shrimp. It was absolutely delicious and then had asparagus and potatoes. Like whatever seasoning they used was amazing and mm. it was cooked perfectly. He didn't even ask me how I wanted it cooked. Oh yeah, um, that was weird. Yeah, that was strange, but um, it was so good. I think it was tenderloin. I'm not sure though. Beef tenderloin? Who knows? Yeah. There is my bacon wrapped meatloaf. Now I'm pretty sure I've had this before and it was supposed to come with string beans. It came with broccoli, but I can only be but so mad at that. <laughs> the meatloaf itself, it was pretty much just like beef, beef, and beef. I didn't really detect, you know, cause a meatloaf you're expecting breadcrumbs, you're expecting other flavors in there. And it was just like a honking hamburger patty <laughs> wrapped in bacon. And the bacon got a little soggy underneath, but I mean, flavor wise, it was good. No ketchup. No, I wish okay. it had like a, a, let's just say a tomato sauce. Cause you know, yeah. people are triggered by meatloaf and ketchup. Oh. A tomato sauce to go with that meatloaf. But mm. otherwise, I mean, the flavors were nice. Would I get it again? Probably. Probably. There is your chocolate tapioca thing. I can't even say tapioca. Uh, Sugar-free chocolate tapioca. Mm. This was really good. I couldn't even tell it was sugar-free. It was like a dark, rich, deep chocolate. Mm. Chocolate, excuse Neither me. Neither one of you can talk. No, no. Mm. <laughs> and like the light whipped cream was really good. It had like almonds on it as well. So this was really tasty. Ooh. I had the baked Alaska. Now last time I had this, it was a gelato baked Alaska. And I remember the main complaint was that the syrup tasted like Hershey syrup and it overwhelmed it. This was ice cream rather than gelato. And the sauce, y'all, it was dark and rich and yummy. It was not Hershey's in the least. Um, I don't know if they made it in-house or mm. if it's a different brand, but um, this was really good. So I'm glad I decided to try it again. Yeah. That's all we have for um, dessert. My dinner was a win. Mine sure. was pretty much a win also, I would yeah. say. 
Yeah. Speaking of winning, bedtime. Packing for Jay. Yeah, I guess we'll <laughs> pack, watch Love Boat. Good night. We'll see you in the morning for the yeah. final goodbye. Aww. This has been a great cruise. It's been long, but it's we'll been nice. We'll talk about nice. it more tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, Good night. And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay. Emerald Princess Edition. Ooh, let's look at it. Now this is, I would say, a pretty cozy little square shower. Um, we do have a grab bar on one side. Ooh, camera, you can focus. Built in, you know, shampoo and body wash. Uh, I'm still not undetermined as to what that thing on the bottom is. Some kind of foot wash or whatever. We've got on off, temperature controls, little snack shelf, which is good for tall, standy uppy snacks. Non-detachable, kind of short shower head for us. Clothesline, yes. A please be smart sign. No, um, like, shavy, hangy, salami, any seedy situations like that. Just plain all the way down. Let's get in here. Now, I'm not going to close the shower curtain because I feel like that's going to be awkwardly close. Um, oh, it's really echoing in here, too. So here is the height. The shower um, nozzle is the size or the height of my ear, shall we say. Granted, I'm 6'5". So the shower nozzle... Gosh, it's not even six feet tall, is it? Let's just say there's been a lot of um, squatting, weird, awkward bending. The height of the shower itself is not bad. It's just the shower head. It doesn't come off. It moves a little bit. It has a few settings. Hmm, not that good. So there's really barely room to spin in a circle in here for me. D has not had a good time either. Let's get out of here because um, I don't like it. I'm going to have to go back and look. I feel like this is giving me Crown Princess vibes, but let's dig into the spreadsheet. Give it a rating. All right, here it comes. Whoopa. That's it. <laughs> Good Good last morning yeah. from Emerald. We're back. Oh, I love LA. And here we are. <laughs> uh, before we hop off, we're going to, well, we're going to grab some breakfast, but... We're trying to think of anything that happened over the course of this video series that we either didn't address, didn't wrap up. You might be thinking, oh, what happened to that? Right. One of those is pop choir. You may have noticed we did not complete our pop choir journey. We went to the first couple of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the rehearsals sort of conflicted with other things that we wanted to do. And so we just kind of floated out of pop choir. Yeah, we feel bad. We would have done it, and Jay would have had to sing Sing Sweet no. Caroline, mm -mm. which would have been hilarious. I would have just stood there. Um, it seemed like a fun concept, but yeah, like Jay said, there was several other activities that it definitely went over that we wanted to be able to show you guys or attend yeah. ourselves, you know. So. Like the hula and ukulele show, that was during a pop uh, choir rehearsal. So. Yeah, the family fun fair. There was all sorts of conflicting yeah. things, so. So there's that story. <laughs> Uh, what else do we still need to talk about? Let's do, um, I guess, our casino journey. Yeah. Now, see, we never, you know, usually report, because there's ups and there's downs in casino land. Yes. This cruise was particularly kind. It was very nice. Uh, overall, between the two of us, without using any uh, actual money other than onboard credit in the casino, we are approximately $3,000 up oh, in this casino. That is not an everyday occurrence. It is not. It is very, very <laughs> rare. Um, and we did get some casino offers under mm -hmm. the door. So I guess Princess did appreciate our playing, even though it's not our money. we won this time. Yeah, so that's how it goes. It's money in and money out. Yeah. It's not necessarily how much you personally spend, because if you're winning, it still counts. It's, True. it's really crazy. Yeah, you can go not out of pocket technically mm -hmm. and still, you know, have points. Because I think we had... Was it six hundred and fifty dollars in onboard on credit, credit to mm -hmm. burn? We used it for Crown Grail, yeah. um, the other Sepatinis. It's early, y'all, and, and the rest of it pretty yeah. much went to casino. So, who? But you have to use it. Yeah. Uh, let's also poke in because I know you took some screenshots of your walk-in and health yeah. stats. I joined you for the last couple of days, you at did. least when I wasn't editing hardcore. Yep, so I worked feeling? out every single day except for two. I took two rest days on the cruise, which I thought was really great. I've learned that I love the treadmill, and I've been doing <laughs> the, so it's a 10 mile, or no, three miles per hour, mm. a 10 incline. I don't know what that means. 10%, 10 percent. 10 percent incline maybe. for 30 minutes. You will sweat your booty off. I know there's like this trend for the 12, 330, which is the 12% incline. Mm. I tried that for about 
eight minutes. I almost died. So <laughs> I definitely yourself. reduced it. So, you know, go to your fitness level. But that is my new favorite thing. And then I did lots of dance classes and Zumba. I did elliptical. We did lots of walking just in the ports. True. Had really good results. Not going to get on the scale or anything until I get home because mm. I'm just seeing how I feel overall. But I'm really loving this new journey I'm on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one other thing that we were going to talk about, which is just weird, is the Botticelli versus Michelangelo MDR. Yeah. We made reservations in both. We never got into Da Vinci. Um, no. But Botticelli and Michelangelo, at least on this sailing, had drastically different feels. We noticed every time we went to Michelangelo, we were welcomed. They were so excited. The service seemed to be yeah. better. Every time we should go put Botticelli, it's just kind of like, oh... Okay, you know, you have a reservation, and we'll try to fit you in. Even though we made reservations yeah, everywhere, weird. they just weren't quite as friendly, and the service wasn't quite as good. Now, this is just a total abnormality. The, the crew is going to change. But it was just weird, though. It was strange. We dreaded going to Botticelli every time we had it booked, and every time we're like, yeah, it's Michelangelo night. We were super excited. I think they should take half of the people in the one dining room <laughs> and maybe, like, balance it a little bit more. I mean, we had weird. good service in both, but it was like we made reservations for a table for two mm -hmm. because, you know, we filmed or you know take pictures we don't want to bother people you yeah, know we've had, had a few people, people complain about that in the past um, when we're near them yeah even though we don't film we right. just take pictures um and every time we would go there they'd be like do you would like a sharing table we're like no and every we time like we, said, what we made private, a reservation for which we reserve they're kind of like mm, where's michelangelo is like welcome part party of yeah, two private weird. table i don't know why they turned irish there yeah. for just a second party of two <laughs> Just, just an observation. It's random, stupid stuff, yeah. Let us know if you've experienced the same thing. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Any other? All right, anything else that we forgot to talk about that we think of later? I'll put a cut in, and we'll talk about it right here. Now, if nothing happened, we were real good, and we thought of everything we needed to say. I guess overall, I'd just like to say, since we've done the two different versions of Hawaii now, flying to the islands, hmm. cruising around, or going from California. Lots of seating. I enjoy both. Honestly, this was one of the most relaxing cruises we've ever had. True. Um, lots of sea days, though, so keep that in mind. <laughs> but I think Princess did a great job of keeping activities going and doing fresh and new things. These, the staff on here was amazing. Mm -hmm. Love them all. I was never bored, really. No. And if I was bored, I went to the gym. That's so. true. You went and worked out, and I edited a video. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a really nice, relaxing way to get to Hawaii, and less expensive than flying there, obviously. Mm. So I would definitely do it again. Right. Yeah. Any other words before we say bye? That's and good. Something? All right, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming along on yeah. this crazy long journey to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on. Let's get some breakfast. Okay. Bye. Well, our debarkation lounge has coffee, juice, some pastries and things. Here we go, a couple of cups of coffee and some thingamajigs to share. Well, the gangway is right here on deck seven and we are headed off. That's it. Put the words up. The adventure is over. Aloha. <laughs>